Don't be afraid to reach back to God's personal call on your life to answer the question why. This is so important. Don't be afraid. As you think about why are we doing what we're doing in student ministry? Why are we doing this as a church plant? Why, why, why? Don't be afraid to reach all the way back to your personal call, God's personal call on your life. And here's why, this is in my notes. Your personal call is where you found the courage to take your first step. And you've gotta stay close to that because ministry requires courage. You're, the most courage you ever had in ministry probably is when you told your mama, mom, I feel like God's called me into ministry. Dad, I'm not taking over the family business, I'm not gonna be a doctor. Mom and dad, I feel like God wants me to go into full-time Christian. That took a lot of courage. And in that moment, you felt called to something, you gotta stay close to that. I said this, wrote this in my notes too, your personal call is where you're gonna find your passion. You see, church work doesn't energize us. Come on, it's not about church work. I work in a church, woohoo! I can't, you know. There's something, there's something bigger than that. Your soul is tied, tied to something deeper and richer than that. What was it that first got you into ministry? Behind your call to ministry, there was a why. This is why I wanna serve God in this way. This is why I wanna be a student ministry. This is why I wanna be a pastor. This is why I wanna marry a pastor and you know, be in ministry with my partner. This is why. Your personal answer to the question why is something you need to tap into even within your division and your department within your church. You say, Andy, that feels a little selfish to me. It's not selfish and here's why. You are a leader. And when leaders tap into their personal passion, they attract other people with the similar passion. And the next thing you know, you have a movement. And the next thing you know, things begin to change. Next thing you know, your student ministry is attracting more kids than your pastor is attracting adults to the worship service. Next thing you know, you're kicked out and you have to start a church. But sometimes, you know, that you, you can stay, right? So here's, here's the question. Come on, come on. What, what, what is your personal passion? Well, why are you, why did you even step into ministry? And never, never, never lose sight of that. That's where you personally will find your energy and that's where you will find the energy you need to cast vision for other people.